Hi everyone, I'm planning on doing a few videos like this one where I try to show how I monitor the in-play stats to try and give an idea of which way the game's going, which way momentum's perhaps shifting. Uh, this wasn't an ideal one to demonstrate it, but there are some things that are going to be useful, so we'll go with it. As I say, I do plan on doing a few of these. Right, Tomjanovic against Zeng. Uh, pretty much an analysis was that I expected it to be very close. Three sets. I was giving Zeng a slight edge. Uh, home advantage. She would have the crowd on her side. And she'd won the title two years ago. So, gave her. There wasn't very much between them. Uh, let's see how we go. Uh, I'm not going to let it play all the way through in real time. Uh, the stat box, it's just this top box that I'm interested in. That's all we're going to be looking at. So let's step through. Obviously, in some sets, it's blatantly obvious where the momentum is. And you'll see that this is one of those sets. Tommy Andrew starts well, holds easily. Zeng holds to love. Tommy Anovich holds to love. Oops. Zeng then struggles and eventually gets broken. Oh, so the stats don't mean a huge amount in the opening games. Let's keep going. Good start for Tomjanovic. Looks like it's going to be a break back. Three break points for Zeng. However, she doesn't take them. Again, eventually. So Tomjanovic is 4-1 up. Not that much between them. If you look at the stats, very strong for Tomjanovic on everything except first serve percentage. But she's winning 64% of second serve. 50% on second serve for Zeng. Second serve uh, points one percentage wise. Not really bothered what the percentage is, but just compare the two. And anything above a 10% difference, as in a difference in 10 of the percentages, didn't explain that very well at all, uh, is significant. So 50% so far and 64 would be significant if if we were a little bit later in the set. Crack on. As it turns out, we are pretty late in the set because Zeng pretty much falls apart at this point. Two more break points and she's 5-1 down, double break. And an easy hold for Tom Lianovic. So 6-1. So not going to plan. However, very strange stat in WTA matches that if a match that's expected to be close ends 6-1, very often turns around in set two and the losing player will at least get a break ahead. Really amazing how often that happens. So because of my pre-match analysis and the 6-1 situation, uh, I did lay thing at this point. Let's go into set two, Zeng serving. Love 40, broken to love. Still not going to plan, surprisingly. Um, if a player is going to, going to be vulnerable at all, it's when she's a set and a break up. So what I did there was lay again. Obviously not happy about it. See how she goes. I was really looking for an instant response, otherwise I would probably just be bailing. And fortunately for me, got that instant response, break back to love. Happy with it now. Okay, so whereas both players started really strongly in the first set, nobody's won a point on serve in the first two games of set two.
Okay, next one. Early 15 up. Is she going to get a hold? No, she isn't. She's 2 1 down. Great. Because that's the situation where I got in for my last entry, I'll leave it as it is. Uh, not too much in the stats to make me stick with her. The only thing I'm really sticking with is pre match analysis and the way she's played earlier in the week. This is why it isn't an ideal match to demonstrate this because it would be difficult to stay in at this stage. Okay, okay. So not an easy oops, much there, not an easy game for Tomlianovic. She's taken to juice. Break back point. Um, things able to still be competitive on return at, in this set at least. Misses a couple of break points. She's three one down. Um, what have we got on the stats? Very poor second set. Sorry, that's showing the match actually. I flicked over to the match. Fifty six percent. Whereas if we look at the stats for set one, bring those up. You can see there the match at this stage, second serve percentage won 56% for Tommy Anovich. That's dropped from 67 first set. Uh, first serve points won down I mean, exceptional in the first set at 91 percent she's down to 70 percent in the second set that's stats for the match as a whole not for the second set on its own first serve percentage is pretty even if we look at zeng's she was winning 45 percent of second serves in that first match she's down that's not a good indication she's down to 38 percent in this one and a first serve percent, first serve points one fifty percent in the first set. And at this stage, the match in a whole, she's down at thirty eight. So she's really struggling, obviously on serve. Uh, she's held serve once, but we're just looking for the differences where the, where these um, stats go up and down can give an indication of what's going to happen. Switch off. Okay, Zeng serving. Finally, going to get another hold. Really struggles. Needs a juice. Hold a serve. Finally. Okay, I've still got the stats set to uh, the match situation. See the difference between. Do that again. Let's bring up set one. The stats in the second set were really not about Zen getting better, but Tomlianovic dropping a level a little bit. Uh, exceptional stats in the first set and not bad looking at the match situation now the stats for the match at this stage she's dropped down a little bit which is why there's a there's a little bit of hope for um for zeng zeng's down a little bit but not hugely so there's no real difference in zeng's level He's getting some chances really because Tomlianovic has dropped her level. Continue. Bit of pressure, two break points, and she's back to 3 3. A 
Okay, I've switched to the set two stats. And if we look at that much closer, second serve points one. 40% uh, for Tomljanovic, 38 for Zeng. First serve for Tomljanovic, now winning 42% as opposed to 90% in the first set. That's a massive difference. Zeng still a little bit down on the first set, but not that much. She's she's remained more or less at the same level. As I say, it's, Tom, it's Tomljanovic that you can see her figures have really dropped. So she's not as sharp as she was in that first set. Okay, we continue. Hold to love. That's a good sign, obviously. Um, then now second serve points one has just aged ahead. 44% to 40. I'm really looking. That's only... Not a huge difference. It's a huge swing from where we were in the first set. For it to be significant, really, the difference needs to be at least 10. So, but we've got a lead of four so far on that stat. Um, her stats in general, she's winning a higher percentage of first serve points. Now going to 59% of her first serve in which is getting towards a respectable level. 44% for Tomljanovic is not good, but that's the level she's been at for most of the match. Next game. Break point and she's 5 3 up. Uh, second serve really hurting Tommy Anovich in this set. She's now down a 35%, 6 of 17. Zeng remaining pretty static. Her level stayed pretty, pretty much the same. The kit can just give it, it can give a little bit more of an insight into what's happening obviously if you're watching the game and you, you're seeing that a player isn't performing as well as they were in the first set a few more errors creeping in it's good to have it confirmed by the stats uh, we've now got a difference in the second serve uh, points one of nine percent so i'm pretty happy at this stage that zeng's going to take this set Now this is where the figures can help. So she's got a chance to serve out the set and screws it up. So back on serve. Tommy Anovich is set up. Do we bail out now? The one thing that kept me in on Zeng is the second serve percentage there. 35% for Tomljanovic. Just this is just in this set. And 46% for Zeng. 11% difference. I'm sticking with Zeng. I think she's going to take it. She's her level as I said as I keep saying is pretty much static, but Tomljanovic is uh, doing well to still be level to be fair with the stats that she's posting in this set. Could get lucky. And we're back to five all. I uh, see on there I'd flicked back to set one to compare. If you look at the difference there, I mean, 91%. This was in the first set for Tom Janovic on first serve, 67% on, on second serve in set one. We stop there on set twos, drop down 53% on first serve, 35%. 
So as I keep saying, and it's but it's a pattern that we're getting from the stats all the way through the second set. It's Tomljanovic that has dropped a level, which is giving Zeng more chances. So we really need a convincing hold to stick with it. Which we get, still got the 11% difference. I'm going into a tie break. Difference there, second serve percent. Sorry, second serve points one percentage, 36% in this set. Tommy Anovich and now up to 50 for Zeng. And whilst tie breaks are a little bit of a lottery, I did stick with it. And obviously wasn't happy when Tommy Anovich got the first mini break. Then gets it straight back and a mini break of her own. And does run away with that tie break. Bit of a wobble towards the end. But we're up one set all. Let's just make the stats. Okay, there we go. So just for that set, 50% second serve points one for Zeng, 37% uh, for Tomljanovic. Both won 54% on first serves, higher first serve percentage for Zeng. Thing about tennis is one set so often bears no resemblance to the previous one uh, i bailed out rapidly at that stage um, i did expect zeng to keep the momentum however if we look at set three Bit of pressure as I had expected. Tomljanovic holds. So real pressure from Zeng at the start of this set. Whoa. And she does actually go break up. So if I had stuck with her, stuck with the momentum that had been built up in the last set, I'd have had a bigger profit. However, the, the end of one set and starting another one usually breaks momentum. Or at least very often breaks momentum. So can she hold on to this one? Uh, she served well in her first game. 100% first serves in. Looking good at 30-15. And then it starts to go wrong. Another break point at Tomjanovic's level. And whilst it's not hugely significant, I'm always looking at that second serve points. One fifty percent for Tomljanovic. She's still only getting around half of her first serves in. She's up to fifty percent so far. Uh, Zeng is still getting her first serve in. 
uh, what 86 percent of the time she's had two second serves and lost both of them not massively relevant or significant but i do like a player to be ahead on second serve points one and very very often the set winner has the higher second serve points one percentage Okay, Tommy Janovic now. Go. That's to take control. Three break points for a 4 2 lead. And she does take it. Zeng now can't win a point on second serve. She's only had three of them but lost them. 56% on second serve for Tommy Janovic. Uh, she's increased her first serve percentage to 67% in this set compared to what was it in set 2? 46% in set 2. So her figures are increasing, that means momentum's going with her. And even if the games are tight, it usually sticks with the player with the momentum. And having said that, I didn't actually watch this this third set uh, when it was live. I just left it recording. Zeng's back on serve there, which is actually against the stats. Interesting. There we go. It was just a dip rather than a change in momentum. I thought this had been a much easier third set actually. <laughs> Things now back on serve. It's exciting, I don't know what happened. Well I do know what happened, but I didn't think it was this close. Yeah, the video ends there. Uh, Tommy Andovic did take it. If you look at the stats for the match there, slightly better for most things for Tommy Andovic. Certainly a percentage of points won on first and second. Not a huge difference in the end. Which does bear it, which pretty well matches the the score. Six four in the third. So as I said at the start of the video, this wasn't an ideal match to demonstrate this. Hopefully, you can just get an idea of what I'm looking at in terms of the in play stats, uh, comparing it from the last set to the current set to try and get an idea of how they're. Performances are improving or decreasing. We can see that in the second set, it wasn't a case of Tom, uh, of Zeng being better or raising her level. She just maintained her level and Tom Janovic dipped. Um, but the figures will show you that. The figures for me, when, you, when you've used this quite a bit, you, you really do start to trust it. Uh, and I stayed in on Zeng even though Tommy Janovic got back on serve. And the main stat for me there was the second serve points one. Hopefully the next one will be a little bit clearer and will demonstrate it a little bit better. That would have been a tough one to stay in. I was really relying on my research and what the stats were telling me in that second set. And it paid off. Doesn't always, but did on this occasion. Oh, see you on the next one.